Hi, this is Valerie at Skills Enrichment Learning Foundation. Do you know how much it costs to get a college degree today? The cost may vary depending on the school, but no matter where you go, I can tell you that it is not cheap. Many wonder if it is even worth it to go to college. Well, I have to agree, it is probably not a good deal to spend your next 20 years paying back student loans to get a degree you don't even want to. But if I can show you how you can get college education for almost free, how much college education can help, would you watch this video? I will show you how you can get your associate degree from a state college practically free in no time. Although it costs $33,000 a year for a California resident to study at University of California in 2015, it costs only $35 per credit to study in state community colleges. Both University of California and California State Universities acknowledge credits taken at community colleges and admit many as transfer students. And the best part is that many offers online classes that you can take from home. You can transfer your high school AP credit, transfer your IT certificates, or CLEP exam waiver. It may sound too good to be true, but it is true. Please note, under transfer work, I transferred three units for passing a CLEP marketing exam, and then transferred six advanced placement tests, which is U.S. History, Chemistry, Chinese, Calculus AB, five units, and Calculus BC, five units, with AP World History. This took most of the general requirements, and I took nine courses online, mostly during summer. And the school is accepted my Microsoft Office certifications to waive the final three units of electives. So in December 2013, I graduated with a 4.0 GPA from Coastline Community College, six months before I graduate high school in 2014. If you look at my high school and college transcripts closely, you might find that I took some duplicate classes. Well, I have to admit that I probably should seek more counseling earlier. Because I took the college classes on my own, the good college grades did not help my GPA when I applied for colleges. However, showing that I was able to complete my associate degree one year before graduating high school proved my desire to succeed. I was accepted by almost all the schools I applied for and offered several scholarships. Unlike my other classmates who spent most of their freshman years fulfilling their general re class requirements, I got to continue playing in marching band, join a professional fraternity, and double major at, in computer science and film studies. By taking this non-traditional route to get my bachelor degree, I got to explore my academic interests, taking classes at a comfortable pace, and have a lot of fun. You may ask me why didn't I drop out of high school when I enrolled in community college. Actually, I loved my friends, teachers, and the extracurriculum activities in high school. Thanks to the great online classes, I get to be a regular high school student while building foundations for my college life. Many community colleges in California now offer special programs for high school students to earn associate degrees when they graduate high school. I missed out on that program when I started high school. However, I still completed my AA at age 17. If I can do it, you can do it. I can fly, fly high in the sky, fly above the clouds with wings spread wide.